What's up YouTube? Nate here. And today when I went out to the mailbox to check my mail, I found a lovely little package in the mail. You know what that means? I just got something from rightstuff.com. And you know what else that means? It's time for another unboxing video. So today, I'll be unboxing Sailor Moon Volume 2. Welcome back. So, I was actually pleasantly surprised when, um, you know, a week ago, RightStuff.com contacted me saying that, hey, we've charged your account, which means that uh, your copy, your pre-ordered copy of Sailor Moon Blu-ray Volume 2 will be shipping out very shortly. Then finally they shipped it out and they said, you know, it'd show up, uh, show up, you know, about five or six days later. And lo and behold, it shows up in my mailbox today. Well, it could have showed up yesterday. I'm not sure I didn't check the mail yesterday. Either way though, showed up uh, at least a day, if not a couple days early. And this is, even then, still a few days early when it's supposed to show up because this wasn't originally supposed to be released until the 12th of February. And yes, I'm recording this before the 12th. So uh, yeah, I'm really cool, really glad to finally get this copy in the mail. Thank you, Right Stuff, for uh, this. So let's let's crack it open and uh, see what all's inside. So you know, first up, you know, we got to get in through the uh, the packaging here to get inside. And I always love the way Right Stuff does their packaging. It's simplistic, but it does the job, and that's what's really cool. And oh, by the way, you should, probably shouldn't mess with scissors like this. Um, you know, for all you youngsters tuning in. Uh, don't use me as an example of how you should be dealing with sharp objects. I'm probably not the uh, best role model for that. Uh, <laughs> I used to get in trouble as a kid. Either way though, so we go ahead and we open her up and uh, you know, oh, curls up and opens. Kind of folds open and then you know we got the uh, package right in here so let's uh, Shove it out and see what all's inside. And there's still a couple more things in here. All right, and oh, it's empty. And like I said, just simplistic packaging, but it gets the job done. I mean, I'm looking at this and I don't see, you know, a whole lot of oddities to it. It all looks really cool. So uh, yeah, that is awesome. So let's see, what do we get here? Of course, you know, packing slip, uh, which. Uh, Shows that it's in there, um, you know, the uh, Sailor Moon Blu-ray DVD set uh, 2. Uh, the limited edition uh, is the version that I picked up. Uh, let's see what else it came with here. Uh, we've got uh, advertisement for Gundam Unicron. Um, an advertisement for, uh, um, well, it says Happy Valentine's Day, but it looks like it's for uh, Nisikoi, um, but you could use this as a postcard, so that's kind of cool. And a advertisement for uh, Cat's Eye Season 2 and Space Pirate Mito. I already have Space Pirate Mito, but uh, Cat's Eye is something that I've got my eyes set on, which would be kind of cool. And actually right now I believe uh, Right Stuff has a sale going on at their place uh, on their site right now, and uh, Cat's Eye is among the things that are on sale. So hopefully if the sale lasts long enough, uh, to where I get my next paycheck, maybe uh, that'll be one of my next purchases. Who knows? We'll see. No, no idea what the future holds. So, let's see what else comes in this thing. Um, all right. So uh, yeah, we got the uh, the basic cover here. You know, kind of looks like this. Uh, you got your little backing here. This little slip cover that goes on uh, goes on it, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's got some information on here. Six disc. Uh, Blu-ray and DVD combo pack, so I'm guessing uh, three Blu-rays and three DVDs um, with all the episodes comprised on those discs. 
Uh, 23 episodes from episode 24 to 46. So we get the rest of the first season of Sailor Moon, the first series, uh, before they started adding letters to the name. So uh, the original Sailor Moon is right on here. Um, 1080p HD, 4.3 aspect ratio, Japanese stereo, or English stereo, and Japanese audio, and English subtitles. So uh, that's really cool. Approximately 530 minutes. Um, of course, this is Viz uh, put this out and distributed in the United States by Warner Brothers, actually. That's kind of, hmm, that's kind of cool. Um, epic season one conclusion of the timeless anime Sailor Moon, and it's kind of cool. There's uh, some of my actual favorite screenshots uh, from some of my favorite episodes of the first season, actually, are <laughs> right on the back here, so that's really cool. So let's go ahead and get dive in deeper here and see what else we got. All right, so we pull that in, and of course, on the front here, there's a little sticker that says, packed with all new extras. Um, so that's kind of cool. Let's uh, see what these all new extras are. So uh, yeah, we got this little uh, shrink-wrapped uh, package of, um, well, they look like cards. Uh, let's see what they are. See if I can open this little package up here. You know, I've... I have been a fan of Sailor Moon for a very, very long time. It was, as I would consider, my first love, my first anime. Um, when people ask me, hey, you know, what was your first anime? Sailor Moon's what I usually uh, speak of. Now, granted, I grew up watching anime. I just didn't realize it was anime at the time. Um, I watched things like uh, Superbook and uh, uh, G-Force and uh, a whole bunch of stuff that was anime, and I didn't find out till much later in my life that it was anime, uh, but Sailor Moon was the first first anime I ever watched that I knew was anime, and actually, um, kind of sad about it, I didn't really get a chance to see Sailor Moon and actually watch it myself um, until it started airing on, uh, on USA. Uh, I know a lot of other stations carried it, but... Um, I didn't have a whole lot of stations where I was growing up um, early on in my years. Uh, you know, I, I didn't get a chance to see a whole lot of uh, Star Trek Voyager because I didn't have UPN where I was uh, living. And for the short time I had UPN, I watched it and I loved it. I was a huge Trekkie. Um, but yeah, I, I wound up missing out on a lot of the anime that was shown, you know, during the day. We didn't even have sci-fi, so I didn't even get a chance to see all of the cool anime that showed up on sci-fi on, like, the weekends and the sci-fi week. Now, granted, when I came up here uh, to the Detroit area and visited my grandparents, um, I would get a chance to see some of that stuff. So that was always kind of cool, and some of my first loves, as far as anime goes, are among those that I saw um, like that. But uh, Sailor Moon's always been, always been dear to my heart. Uh, despite the fact of me hating the first episode, uh, <laughs> as it so, uh, so talks about. So let's go through here. What do we got here? Well, we got a bunch of um, cute little cards uh, that has the uh, characters on it. So we got Sailor Moon, Sailor Mercury, Sailor Mars, Sailor Jupiter, Sailor Venus, and Tuxedo Mask. And then on the back, there's actually some, uh, there's the villains, uh, the, uh, I guess the polar opposite of the character. So on the Sailor Moon side, one, there is Queen Beryl. All right, on the Sailor Mercury side, you've got Zoocyte. If I remember correctly, those are the original pairings. Zoocyte and Sailor Mercury were, um, were paired together. Uh, Sailor Mars, you got Jedi. Sailor Jupiter, you got Nephrite. And Sailor Venus, Kunzite. And yes, these are the Japanese names, not the American names. So you might, you know, Nephrite and Kunzite uh, wasn't... Um, what do they translate him to? Malachite. Yes, Malachite. Um, I don't know. I don't know why it's not, not Kunsite. Tuxedo Mask is just Sailor Moon on the back here. So that's kind of cool. Um, got some nice little, uh, nice little art cards, uh, which is neat to have. And uh, yeah, you know, 
Uh, metal would be nice, I suppose, another uh, another coin or something, but uh, those are kind of cool. I can put that in with the rest of the uh, Sailor Moon picture postcard things that I have that I um, got when I was younger. So yeah, what we're left with is the actual uh, Blu-ray case itself, uh, which is encased in some cellophane of itself. So uh, let's go ahead and get her on open and uh, see what else is inside. Ooh. <laughs> I am giddy with anticipation because, honestly, some of my favorite episodes of Sailor Moon came in this later half of this uh, of this season. So uh, it's great to finally actually have uh, have some of this. So yeah, um, pretty much uh, what you see here is what you see here. You know, you got the side there, and you got Princess Serenity here. You know. Serena and all that other <laughs> fun stuff, uh, you know, soggy uh, and whatnot. And let's go ahead and open her up and see what's inside. So what do we got inside? Well, we got a number of discs. So uh, yeah, you've got uh, disc one, disc two, disc three, and then on the DVD side, disc one, disc two, and disc three. So that's kind of cool, um, but hey, there's something else neat in here. Uh, let's go ahead and pull out the uh, slip cover and uh, see what we got here. Oh wow, that's kind of cool. So on you know the back side of the uh, of the front of the cover here, you have got this cool drawing here. This uh, nice little picture, which is kind of cool here. Really, really neat to see actually. Um, you know something neat to have on here. I'm not sure I'm going to flip this over so that you see this on the outside. I think I'd kind of rather see this. It'll go better with uh, the box um, that it came with. But yeah, that's really cool to uh, have that. So we'll go ahead and stick that back in here. So yeah, um, you know, not as many extras as what came with the uh, first set. But um, after all, this is kind of like the supplementary set, um, so to speak, uh, since this is uh, supposed to combine with the original set, like I said, and this, you know, here's the original box and all that other stuff, and it has this extra little insert here that is meant for volume two. So we'll go ahead and slide out the little box, and we'll put the slip cover back on. All right. Provided I can get the slip cover back on without damaging the plastic. All right, so we got that here, and then Sailor Moon Season Two fits right inside. Now I don't know. I think I might do without the slip cover actually. So we'll go ahead and stick that in here, and yep, there we go. Looks really cool, just like that. And now I have <laughs> a complete set of Sailor Moon, the very first season. Um, I'm not, I haven't seen um, them actually come out with any information about, uh, about the next set uh, being ready for pre-order, but as soon as it is, I'm putting some money down on it because, uh, well, I wanna see the rest of Sailor Moon. I wanna have it all in this format, so uh, <laughs> no doubt. I'll be putting some money down on this. Anyway, you know, it's cool to finally have this in my uh, collection, and now I can sit down and watch all of Sailor Moon, the first season, um, all the way through the whole Queen Barrel arc and everything in Blu-ray quality. So it'd be awesome to finally sit down and do that. Anyway, though, that's pretty much it. Not a whole lot to this uh to this unboxing, really. There's not a whole lot that came with the limited edition. Um, pretty much just these extra bits here, which is cool to have. And hey, that's what it is. Anyway guys, this is Nate, signing off.